Well, hello and welcome back. This is this is Astro, and we're here with some more Minecraft Hardcore Survival Series. Last episode, we kind of ended off working on getting enchants and all that good stuff. Now, I kind of worked on the enchantment room here a little bit, and I'm thinking it's looking pretty good. I kind of want a redstone lamp up in there, but that means we need glowstone, so that means we'll have to go back to the nether and get some glowstone. Now, I used nether bricks here to kind of put some dark brickage in here and I think it looks pretty cool and we have we're gonna put more bookshelves in here like scatter them all around kind of make it all messy it looking and some more stuff like this and then we come over here and we kind of have like our little workspace with some paper laying around we got our book here and we just got a little plant here with a reading our reading books here and then we have lapis up in this barrel books up in this barrel and enchantments up in that barrel and we have some hanging down a bookshelves and I think that actually looks pretty cool but today we need to start getting emeralds and to do that I have some cool ideas I think I I've seen it and I was just like or I was thinking about it and right here villager farming we need an iron farm yet and then I added the windmill the wood mill and the trading hall right and that is absolutely fantastic so we can actually get rid can we get rid of any of these we can't get rid of any of these. Interesting. Well, I mean, we could get rid of the skeleton farm, but we still need to finish the interior design because right now it's not looking too pretty. It's just, it's functional. And as you can see, we have some enchantments on our tools. Let's take a look. We have looting three, mending and unbreaking three, unbreaking three and efficiency four, unbreaking three, efficiency three or efficiency four, fortune three and mending. And then, of course, the sad enchant of Unbreaking 3, Unbreaking 3, Depth Strider 3, Fire Protection 3, Unbreaking 3, and Aqua Affinity Protection and Respiration. Now, with villagers, we can use their books and put a lot better enchants on these, and we can take, like, all these off and put better enchants on them with the villagers. But we're going to need a lot of emeralds for that. Now, the way I was thinking of getting these emeralds was villager farming. And then we can use the farmers to actually get emeralds and we're gonna make that trading hall here soon. So why not just start working on some villager farming and getting all that good stuff in our hands and getting a bunch of production going in the background while we're building other things. Well, after a very good amount of time, we have six layers of villagers in here. And I wasn't sure if I should go eight or six. I think we're gonna cap it off at six just because I know we're out of villagers. And I kinda wanna use the other villagers that are bred today for a different project today. So yeah, we have basically the farm done. And just from, okay, so the carrot or the potatoes are on top, so there's really not much in there. But the carrots are doing pretty dang good. And like, here's some more. So yeah, the carrots are doing really good. We got eight potatoes and hopefully we see some more start flowing in here soon. Uh, just a warning, make sure when you're done building this, there will be a link in the description if you do want to build this. I'll go in this first layer to show you kind of what it is. All right, let's go in here. Now this layer is carrots and these guys, this guy is trapped in there with two minecart hoppers and a hopper underneath. So when he throws it, it just catches it right away and goes down into the chest. Now I'm confused as why this one isn't planted. There you go. So he's gonna stand here and he's just gonna throw it in there and it's gonna catch that and it's gonna go down in the chest and then we get plenty of carrots. Now he does go pretty slow. As you can see, it's not all done, but once he gets enough in his inventory, he gives it to him. And there's water, that's what the carpet is for. There's a bunch of water here. And there is one bed and a shroom light here to light up the middle. And if you don't make this glass, make sure you light it all up, otherwise the plants are gonna break because of the darkness. Composter for the for him. And you just, basically to keep building it up, you put a trap door here. And then if we go out and we'll go to the second layer. On the second layer, it's basically just a hopper pointed into the trap door with two more of 
or hopper minecarts, and then you just keep going up as far as you want. Very simple, and like I said, I re recommend checking every single level. Make sure they're all still farmers, because I had a trouble where one of them actually, actually, two of them turned changed. I don't know how, what happened. One of them got out somehow, and he was roaming around the village, so I had to put him back in, and the other ones just changed to non farmers and it was very confusing another thing i recommend doing is going to the very top level climb all the way up and go all the way to the end right here and make sure that if you drop an item in here so choose a different item besides carrots and potatoes it in here then go to the bottom and check that it went all the way down as you can see, the cobblestone is in the chest, so everything is working good. We're gonna need a lot of resources to actually build this thing up. We're gonna have to get rid of this tree, which I thought I actually did, but I must have missed a piece here. So we're gonna need a bunch of resources to actually build this whole thing up, as in gravel, and gravel is gonna be super hard to find, just the fact that I don't really have gravel mountains around me, or I haven't found any at least. Oh, it's gonna be a pain, because I wanted to use red concrete. We could, uh, we should use red wool, set up a mini, sheep farm and use red wool that would be so much easier mm, and it would probably look better i think it would look better with a silo bin and this is a silo bin it's going to be pretty dang big and it's going to be a working silo bin basically because we have a bunch of workers in here and then we're going to have a little outpost here somewhere over here with all the loot coming in and that's where the loot is going to collect now i have been having problems with cat spawns and I don't know how to fix this. Uh, we're having cat spawns, right? And what happened is one actually spawned in here and it moved all these. It just trampled them. And I was like, oh goodness, how would I fix this? What I did is I just broke this and put this one back on top and it worked. Now, I don't know if that's gonna keep happening. Then we're gonna have very, very big issues. But hopefully it's just a one-time deal and they don't do that again. And maybe if I just keep one cat outside that they won't spawn. I'm not sure what the spawn is for the cats. I can't remember. It's like one per three beds, I think. So let's get rid of our bed just in case. There we go. And hopefully no cats. And then every once in a while, if you just go to the top and test that like I did, you should be good to go and just make sure everything's working. I made this little three sheep farm here. And now basically we're just going to wait till AFK and he's going to eat and it's going to chop his wool off or shear his wool off. And it's going to shove all of it down here. Now it works decently fast. All you have to do is basically Put an observer facing into the grass block, so once he eats it, it detects it. A dispenser facing the sheep with your shears in it and a piece of redstone behind it. Now that is all you need. Now the bottom blocks have to be glass so the grass can grow back into there. And now you have a running sheep farm. And basically we're just going to keep this temporarily till we have enough red because we're going to need a lot of red, like a lot of red. And we're going to need a lot of white as well. So I might have to set up a little white one right next to it here and get us some white wool as well. We definitely don't need as much white wool as we do red wool. Maybe we'll just do two white sheeps and then three red sheeps. Uh, we do need to breed these guys up again. But probably AFK overnight or yeah, because I think I might AFK overnight to get a bunch of red wool. We'll fill this guy up full of shears and hopefully... Well, hello! Um, please go. <laughs> You're interrupting my, my video here. Is there only two of you? Where is the rest of your, your gang? Where is your gang? You do see me, but you're not gonna swim over here, right? All right, so you stay over there. I'm gonna stay over here and work, all right? Your brother is, he's chilling over there. He's fine. He's got a better home than you do. You're just wandering. So you, you get on going now and don't come back.
Whoa, 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 have I been super busy. Now, we have this, we got our Blast Protection 4 on Breaking 3, and I also got this Efficiency 4 on Breaking 3. Fortune 3, Shovel, which I'm kind of sad about the uh, Fortune 3. I really wanted Silk Touch on these, because once we need Gravel, then, you know, it just, it doesn't work. Because we're just going to get Flint, and if we ever get Concrete, then we're going to need a lot of Gravel. Now, so, there it is. It's finished. It's complete. It's done. It's looking pretty good. It is ginormous. It, it, it's fairly big. Uh, compared to the barn, it's pretty big, but most silos are bigger than barns. This one is just maybe a tad bit excessive big. And yeah, we also got that over there. It, it's our iron farm. It's our double iron farm. Now, some of these clips might not... I see you. I see you. <laughs> uh, let's just not pay attention to him. Let's go away but yeah um yeah <laughs> some of the clips kind of got messed up so that's why it's kind of in a it's not in a random order it's just in a weird creeper kind of like it skips a lot okay there's a lot of skippage in the video but if you can hear that it is working very very good now i've been just kind of working on this tower and i had to put a bunch of chests outside because we had problems with storage yeah it was over here on the top of this one so that means 4 8 12 16 full double chest but i traded a bunch off so it works very very good <laughs> and if you guys want this design like i said it's in the description um yeah it's it, it's very nice uh the reason this kind of looks a little funky is because we needed to stick this out for the water because there's water so it can go and kind of sort itself out in there so yeah i had a figure out a way to do that. And I was like, you know what? Give it a little bit of depth. We could just stick this out. Maybe we might have to bring this ledge out one more just so it's kind of looking a little weird, but it looks like we just have some random stuff everywhere. But yeah, it's, oh my gosh, it took a lot of wool. And the reason we just kind of, we made a nine wool sheep farm back there. There's nine red ones back there because that's how much wool it took. It took a lot of wool and then also a quite a bit of red, but we only have two red sheep back there. And as you can see, we have a little bit of a setup here and I think it's one, two, three, four carrots and one, two, three, four potato people. And it's basically just the average trades of 25 or whatnot. And I've been doing a little bit of trading. As you can see, they're just journeymen right now. But with a little bit of trading, I had like 40 levels and a bunch of emeralds. Look at that. Oh yes, that's, that's glorious. Almost nine stacks of emeralds. Oh, it's it's amazing. And that's gonna go towards suiting up, armoring up, getting ready for some battles and bigger explorations and stuff. Cause yeah, that needs to happen soon. We've been doing a lot of building and not much exploration of the part of me being scared. Iron, guys, iron. I've been lacking iron so hard and now we're not lacking at all. And this design is my design. I was like thinking of just from my brain process was how do iron golems work? And so I was just like, you know what? From the past iron farms I've made, I know how they work. And this is how they work. It's basically just, you have this guy, you have a zombie in the middle here and these guys see them and they get scared, but the zombies bouncing up and down. So when nighttime comes, then they can sleep. And then once they sleep, then they're good to go. They're refreshed and they get scared again and more iron golems fall. Now you can't really see them because this is walls. Otherwise, if you had full blocks, they kind of get stuck. So we had to change all these to walls. And that's why this is actually walls down here. Now we could make a quad farm and all we'd have to do is add a section coming off this way and a section coming off this way. And that would be a four iron golem farm, a four village farm. Now that would work. It would give us more spawns, but I don't think we're gonna actually need it. Like, we're doing pretty good. I don't know, if, I mean, we will probably have to go through other iron pretty, or not even soon, but just eventually making a bunch of chests and, oh, auto break. And yeah, and making a bunch of hoppers for storage and whatnot. But yeah, that, that's, it's awesome. You know, I haven't, I was actually just waiting for the wool. So I was like, you know what? Let's, let's build an iron farm while we're waiting. So we're not just sitting here with our thumbs twiddling and waiting and it gave us something to do. So that's always good. Now we kind of have a problem. There's a problem down. I don't know if you can hear it. <laughs> that's the problem. Um, There is a lot of villagers down there, which is good because 
we need to make our villager trading hall and hopefully that will come next episode or maybe two episodes i'm not 100 sure what we're doing next this needs to get torn down i discarded the idea of making this into a a, a portal room i think we're gonna make it into a portal room i don't think we're gonna do that anymore i think we're going to tear it down and just give us a little more space so that it's not in the way of our silo now i do enjoy the silo i really do it's kind of i know it's really farmy buildy like farm build kind of style and it's not really it kind of goes with the style i mean that's a barn right it kind of goes with the style but we were also going for like the old wood style but i think this actually really fits in this is the biggest build it kind of stands out it really stands out but if we add some more builds over here i think we'll be fine and then we just need to add paths to everything and it should be good now is that creeper still around here it worries me okay i'm not seeing him i think he despawned i think we should be good now if we come up to the project board Windmill, okay, iron farm, basically done. But the core iron farm needs to begin. Now we have not did any have not done any decor to it. Now I'm not 100 percent sure what I want to do. I was gonna build a giant pyramid around it, but I feel like the iron golems are gonna spawn on top of the pyramid. So I don't know how to even design this. Like, what am I supposed to do without iron golems spawning? And I know we can make a glass, something something with glass, or I, I, we'll have to figure it out eventually, but villager farming, that's that's just the villager farming. This is the villager farming, right? Yeah. So we'll get rid of that. That is done. The horse stables, the farming is done. Skeleton farm is done, but the skelly decor is not. We still have to decorate that. The house interior and the trading hall. So everything is still, we got two gone. That's that's a lot of progress. I feel like that is a bunch of progress. And I think we're doing very well. We have a very good working potato and carrot. There's only six layers on this thing. There's six layers of three carrots, three potatoes, and it is just working phenomenal. Like there is so much produce that it was hard to keep up. And then we got our iron farm. And now they're not close enough to actually work together. I think maybe if we go in the middle, that might actually work together, but then the wool farm won't be in it. So we actually don't really need any more red or white wool yet. Oh, uh, we might need white wool for the windmill. But other than that, yeah, we are doing super great. We need to work a little bit on the inside and we really need to get that trading hall up so we can get some enchantments for all of these. We can get sharpness and yeah, you know, all that good stuff and i'm so excited and i hope you guys are too now this is basically a working silo it's a working silo in minecraft right yeah it's it's basically just a working silo that feeds you food and i the dome actually looks really good i was really hesitant about building and then it actually turned out pretty good um i don't know if i'm gonna keep it like that as you can see it kind of got cornered but we'll see now i think that is all we actually have time for today hopefully we can get into some trading and Maybe a little bit of, maybe some more, some house interior. We'll build a bedroom or build a kitchen or something like that. Something to get rid of these ores because there's a bunch. It's We're just getting overflowed here. All right, guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did and want to see more, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that notification button to know when I am live. And yeah, we'll get some more builds like this going for you. And hopefully you guys enjoy. So deuces.